Okay, so in this tutorial, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over a couple of things. We're going to go over the display layers again, really briefly. Then we're going to go over uh, delete history. Then we're going to go over um, uh, freeze transformation and, and show an example of why that is important. And then hopefully if we have some time, we'll go over uh, extruding uh, in a different way, uh, like an inward, and the common mistakes that comes with it. Okay, so again, I'm going to try to keep it down to 15 minutes. All right, so here we are. And uh, to uh, show wireframe on my model, just to review, it is Alt and 5. Okay, Alt and 5, and Alt and 5 to toggle it on and off. All right, so I want to have my uh, infinity wall. Well, you know what? Let's name it. Double click here, name it. And Infinity wow. See. And then I'm gonna make its own display layer. So remember this guy we talked about in class? I'm gonna have this selected. Always have this selected first. Go over here, click it. Now it's in there. Remember? Alright, now I wanna give it a name. So I'm gonna double click. And uh, remember I taught you guys in class, I like to put like an underscore and then type out and I like to leave it like that because as I mentioned, if you have uh, the same words and you dump it in here, it's going to reject it. And that's why I put a little underscore and an underscore and it kind of looks nice. You know, it's just my OCD, whatever. So. There we are, and don't use spaces, and then hit save. See? So we made a layer for that. Quick review. All right, so that was already two minutes. Um, next, I need to go over something called uh, deleting your history for your object. Uh, also called uh, deleting the construction history. See? The buildup of construction. So again, we know when I dis I think I discussed in either this class or the other class where you have this whole list, right? After a point, your model will start to get corrupted and uh, just get really wrecked randomly for no reason. So it's always good to delete this. So we're gonna go to um, edit, delete by type. Right, not this, not all. Delete by type. So edit, delete by type, history. And this is the shortcut, but I usually just do it manually just to be safe. And bing, that's all. It's cleaned out. So now your history is clean. Every, uh, any three D artist will always do this. Well. But then except for like character rigging, there's times where you need to have it here, I think. Yeah, but anyway, whatever. So, you know, delete history. All right, I, I repeat again, select your object, edit, delete by type, history. And now we're clean. Next, so we're done with that. Uh, now I wanna just uh, set it to reference. So I can't grab it, okay? And again, it's a uh, wireframe on shaded because of Alt 5. Okay. All right, next. From here, I want to go over something called freeze transformation. And you know what? I'm going to unlock that. I'm going to grab this. You notice over here, I have your uh, 0.5. In the previous tutorial, I went over that. Um, why that was, because I had to kind of lift it up a bit. OK, 
Okay, just to make it level to the uh, 3D grid, I'm gonna space bar, space bar. And see, it's level to the origin plane that I discussed previously in the other tutorials, okay? It has to be on like that. And that's why it's lifted up on the Y, up. Now, what if, you know, you're making something else. Right, I'm gonna throw it over here, right? Oh, by the way, you see I don't have my grid. And I discussed that. To show you grid again, it's over here. Next to panels, this guy. See? Anyway, so I'm gonna grab it. And I chucked it way over here, right? So, you know, if I put zero, zero, zero again, it looks like it could be nor could be good. But you zoom in, you notice he's underneath the 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 ground plane again, which is annoying. And then you have to go back here and type in point five again. You know, it's super annoying. And so there's something called freeze transformations, which will um, freeze it. And what do you mean by freeze it? Meaning this location where it is, see how it's nice and leveled, that I'm gonna clear out all of this, and it's gonna be um, back to default. But this is not gonna move. Because if I you know, manually do it, it moves. So I need to blow this all out. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to uh, modify. Okay, previously we were under edit, right? To delete the history. But for freeze transformation, we have to be under modify, transformation tools. Wait, no, 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 modify, freeze transformations, all right? Modify, freeze transformations. If you look at the channel box, watch what happens. Boom, cleared out. And your object did not move. So, Every 3D software has something more or less along those lines, which is important. And if you notice, my scale is um, cleaned out too, back to pure default. And that is the reason why we have freeze transformations. Again, that is, you select your object, modify, freeze transformations. Okay? That's, and that is what that is. Okay, so that was good. I'm gonna lock it back. And then, let's build another mm, cube. So what I'm gonna do is go to create polygons cube. And, and instead of manually zooming in, as I taught you guys in class, I believe, or the other class, press F as in Frank. When you do that, it you know zooms in on it, zooms in on it. But as you can see, it's underneath the zero ground plane, which I, I hate. It's really annoying. And you, you could try to lift it up, type it in, really annoying. So what we're gonna do is, uh, you see this? Oh, before I do that, there's another thing that I should teach you. You see how when I look underneath, like that? Sometimes this is annoying, where the ground is blocking your view. You know, in this sense, it's okay, but when you have a whole lot of stuff going on, you know, it gets super annoying. So there, this is something you'll use all the time as well. It's called back face culling where you know it doesn't matter whatever you select it doesn't matter you could have nothing selected go to shading over here backface color okay see now it's on when you do that the camera will uh, be smart and it'll make it so that it could look underneath as a transparency not a transparency but see through it or here is okay here is see through it and uh, even back here, see? Very useful. Okay, that's back face calling, shading, back face calling. All right. So 
So what's the whole point? Well, let's go into our polycube input, right? The uh, I don't know how to call it, but you know what it comes with. These settings, and we're gonna add more construction lines, like how I showed you the other class in the other tutorial. Two. So subdivision of two. Okay, and there's a reason why. If you didn't watch the other tutorial, I'm gonna show this real quick. And I'm gonna place my pivot point down here at the bottom. Okay. Because right now, if I do like uh, rotate, you see it's rotating off of the, I'm gonna press four, it's rotating off of the middle line, see? But I want it to move, rotate scale from down here. It's equivalent to uh, your anchor point in uh, After Effects. I think Photoshop has something similar too. But uh, again, what we'll do is have it selected and this will be a good review anyway. Uh, I'm going to press, I'm going to just press D as in David once. I'm not going to hold it. I'm just going to press it once. And you see that? That, what this means now is that your pivot point is live and active where you can move it around. I could grab it and chuck it over here. Okay. And then uh, I chucked it over there. I'm going to press W to get out of that tool. W. E to be in rotate. You see what I'm doing? All right. So quick review. So I'm gonna press five. I'm gonna space bar and say space bar in the front view. And then again, press D as in David once. Now I'm gonna uh, press and hold D as in Victor. Okay. And review time. This is a, a snap, this magnet tool is on. Magnet tool will snap, right? Hold on D, grab the handle, and plop, plop down here. See, it will snap it down there. And the reason why it's able to snap down there is because of uh, this intersection. You know, Maya will, will read it that there's a point here to snap it to as a point of reference. Anyway, so here we are. And then from here, let's uh, snap it to the to the uh, surface plane, right? And you go right there, snap to grid, right? And you grab the up arrow, snap it. See? All right. That was a quick review. And um, the whole point of this also is um, uncheck that later, right? Uh, afterwards, you're done. All right. And then from here, let's delete the um, I mean, freeze the transform, okay, because if I chuck it here, and then I think if I do this, same thing, back to the same thing, so what I'm going to do is again, delete the history, not delete the history, sorry, modify, freeze transform, and we're cleaned out, okay. And then also, you see here, we start to have some history. That's your, um, uh, when we froze or transforms, okay? And here's our original, you know, what comes out of the box.